Here's the sensor end of our makeshift magnetometer. That's the Allegro sensor on the end. You can see three wires. That's ground, power, and the signal out. This little sensor is sensing the magnetic field through it in this direction. So it's in the way that I'm pointing. So we could take a DC2 magnet. That's a three-quarter inch diameter by eighth inch thick disc. Take this sensor and press it right on the top. And it shows 1.96. So that's like 1,960 Gauss. Showing negative is one direction. Flip it over. And it's showing positive. 2.01. So that's 2,010 Gauss. Note that the reading you see on a measurement like this is going to be less than the theoretical surface field because the sensor has some, some thickness and you're measuring actually a little bit away from the surface of the magnet. The smaller magnets, this can make a big difference. This is useful also for finding numbers off-axis. For example, the magnetic field around this disk comes up out of here, around the magnet, and into there. So right abeam it, it's going up and down. How strong is it? Well, we can stick this sensor there. Maybe. And see. Right next to it. And of course, the closer you get, the stronger it is. The further out, the weaker. And that's not quite as strong as the field strength right on the surface. How accurate is it? We were surprisingly pleased. Theoretically, field strength about a half an inch away from the surface of this DC2 magnet should be about 380 gauss at half an inch. I hold the sensor there. That's about right. Other side. One inch away, I would theoretically guess it's about 80 gauss. We measure it's about right. So now you're going to get positive and negative numbers depending on which direction you're looking at. This magnet is color-coded so that the North Pole is red. When I put this sensor on it, it measures a negative number. I turn the magnet around, it shows a positive. So the way we have this one wired up, it's showing negative for North and positive for South. Also note that the direction of your sensor matters too, because if I take this sensor and turn it around, you get the opposite direction. Negative, positive. Let's consider our very powerful magnet. This is a inch and a quarter diameter by one inch thick magnet, DX4XO. The field strength of the surface of this magnet is up above 5,000 gauss. As we get closer and closer to it, you see we'll end up pegging the meter. It gets to its maximum, and that's all you get. With this magnet, I'd expect to see about 700 gauss from one inch away. So I... That's about right. 